So can reinvite a direct RTP setup. Okay. We never do this on an endpoint. Okay. The reason I bring this up is because SIP providers do this. And so I just wanted to point out to you, um, this is showing it in a case where you have, you, that you turned on in the configuration file, can reinvite equals yes, direct RTP setup equals yes. You would have to get into one of our config files to do it, which is easy to do because we document them all. But we never do it. But let's take it one step backwards. It wouldn't, it's very normal from these smaller carriers to get SIP trunks. And I will tell you, don't ever use can reinvite yes, direct RTP support yes. And they'll tell you they want you to use it. The reason is, they're, an asterisk. they're like an asterisk server. Your asterisk server has a SIP trunk. It is a SIP trunk provider, big world SIP trunk provider, and he, your small SIP trunk provider, is getting trunks from this guy. And so what happens is you call into him with your control and say, hey, I'm going to grab hold of the SIP trunk, and for the first few seconds, one to two seconds, you, your audio and, and control stream are going through him. And then as soon as the call is established and running for about a second to a second and a half, on some providers you'll hear a little click, he gets out of the screen. The reason being, he only has so much bandwidth in his office, and he doesn't want the audio stream going in and out of his office. Because all he's doing is selling you SIP trunks, and he wants the control stream so you can monitor how much time you're using, how many packages you're moving, that kind of stuff. But he doesn't need to have the audio stream coming through. And so he drops the RTP stream, and now all of a sudden, by doing can we invite yes, direct RTP set yes, after about a second, second and a half, we now talk directly to the endpoint, where this is your asterisk server. So, but likewise, I said, never use this with one of your endpoint configurations unless the manufacturer tells you to do it. I don't know what manufacturer would, maybe a PA, a PA SIP um, uh, speaker <coughs> would tell you to do that. You know, and then you, you have to do it. But the, on endpoint, A, you, the system will work just fine, by the way. It's, it's fully supported. The system works fine. But right out of the shoot, you won't get recordings anymore. We still know how long the telephone call is. You log all the CDR information because the control stream is still going through the system, but the audio stream is not.